Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Neglect is not just important from a physical standpoint. We can neglect ourselves spiritually and neglect the gift of God and maybe miss the most significant calling of our lives. We're in today in the book of 1 Timothy, chapters 4 through 6, and the verse of the day is 1 Timothy 4.14. Do not neglect your gift which was given you through prophecy when the body of elders laid their hands on you. Word of the day is neglect. It is the Greek word amaleo. It means to make light of or ignore, to be careless or negligent of, be unconcerned or to disregard. Paul is instructing Timothy on being able to discern true followers from false ones. But then he shows Timothy how he can ensure that he does not neglect what God has called him to do. Let's peek into some of the gold nuggets of Paul's advice. We neglect our character when we follow after conspiracy theories and myths rather than after God's word and godliness. 1 Timothy 4, verses 7 through 8 says, Have nothing to do with irreverent, silly myths. Rather than that, train yourself for godliness. For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. We neglect our calling when we focus on the characteristics the world does, age, beauty, social status, 1 Timothy 4.12 says, Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers in example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. We neglect our relationship with God and our calling when we don't prioritize God's word in our lives. 1 Timothy 4.13 says, Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to exhortation, to teaching. We neglect our calling when we are not consistent in the work and word of God. 1 Timothy 4, 14-15 says, Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophecy, when the council of elders laid their hands on you. Practice these things. Immerse yourself in them, so that all may see your progress. We neglect our personal holiness and the Holy Spirit when we don't examine ourselves and what we are teaching ourselves daily. 1 Timothy 4, 16. Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this, for by so doing you will save both yourself and your hearers. We can starve ourselves spiritually without realizing it. We cannot fulfill the calling of God on our lives in our own strength. We need to be immersed in His Word. Biblical illiteracy prevents people from being able to understand what God is saying. Be diligent in studying God's Word and in applying it to your life. Those who listen to you are relying on your faithfulness to God and His Word. Go with God and His precious Word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Numbers.